This is Judy Marino at the CMCC Library. Welcome to a brief demonstration on getting started with the EBSCOhost databases. Always start from the library's homepage. Don't Google EBSCOhost as the links that you find won't get you in from home. If using this from home, you'll be prompted for your CMCC student ID number. There's a link to EBSCOhost off the library's homepage. You'll notice the databases are grouped by subject. We could search all available databases here, but we're going to focus on business databases because they're best suited to my topic, which is Bill Gates's philanthropic foundation and what he's doing in the global fight against malaria. I'm going to select business collection and the first few databases listed here. We'll click continue and we're at the advanced search screen. Let's see what we get when we type Bill Gates. Notice you don't have to capitalize. Over 23,000 results. Let's narrow this down a bit. We'll put quotation marks around his name. This forces the database to search this as a phrase. As you can see, it was pretty effective in focusing our search. Only use quotation marks around words that make a good phrase. Let's look at this result, which is not full text. There's no PDF and no full text file. There's no link to HTML full text. This means there's no article here. You could request a copy of this through interlibrary loan or check ProQuest for it. We'll talk about that in another video. Instead, let's go back up and limit to full text so that all of our results have articles. Now we've narrowed down our search by roughly half. Let's narrow our search even further. We'll add another term. We'll use this Boolean operator AND here to combine terms. And we'll add the word malaria. Now we have a pretty manageable set of results. Let's look at another way to focus our search. We'll click on the drop-down menu that says select a field next to where we put malaria. Before we were searching for malaria as a keyword, but if we change this to subject terms, it's a much more focused result. The results are automatically listed in order of relevance. We can change this to sort by date newest, so we have the most recent articles at the top. Let's have a look here, and we'll open up an article that looks good. Now that this is opened up, we can see the title, the author, the name of the journal it came from, some subject terms, and which database it came from. This is the detailed record view, and it's important information you need to create your citation. Let's select HTML full text. The HTML full text view lets us see the article, but you don't see the other details that you need to create a citation, which is under this detailed record view. Options for printing, emailing, saving, citing, sharing, translating, listening are all on the right hand side of the screen. A word of warning about database citations. It's okay to cut and paste these, but there's almost always errors and they need to be cleaned up afterwards. Here's a tip on using PDFs. We'll go back to our result list and open up a PDF. The options for printing the PDF and saving it are found by hovering over it. This concludes this brief presentation on getting started with the EBSCOhost databases. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me or any of the other librarians at the CM Library.